Hi, thanks for coming back to my channel and I hope you're doing well. Today I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to replace a motherboard. Uh, this is a MacBook Air. The model is A1466 and this is an early 2015 model. Um, here I have a used motherboard and I'll be replacing this motherboard um, and remove the uh, the motherboard that is in here. So what happened is that there was a water spill and it got to the motherboard and the computer does not power on. So the, technically you just need to have um, two screwdrivers. One is Pantalope and one is a Torque. Um, if you have a plastic plier that helps um, but it's not necessary. So I'll show you step by step and let's begin. Let's get a Pantalope screwdriver. Once you have all the screw removed, go ahead and remove the back plate. So as you can see, there's an indicator. It's red. That shows me that, well, that tells me that the motherboard was exposed to um, to some sort of a liquid damage, and the corrosion starting to build around here. So first thing first, we need to remove the battery. You got a torque screwdriver. I'll be reusing the same battery, but I'm just removing it for now so that I have a lot more room and access to, um, to work around the computer. So there are only five screws that hold onto the battery. Two on both sides and one in the middle and the battery will just come right off okay and as you can see the battery also has a um, liquid damage indicator that is red so the next thing I'll do uh, the next thing is to remove the solid-state hard drive There's only one screw that holds on to it. Okay, the next step I'll be doing is to remove the cable. This is where the plastic plier comes in handy. I can go underneath get the cable and pull it right up this here is for the fan remove the hinges and later on we're gonna um, remove that cable as well okay come here that's for the touchpad Flip the hinges and it's a keyboard lighting, I believe. Once you have that two removed, go ahead and remove the speaker cable. This is the LCD cable. Two Wi-Fi cable. Okay, the next step I'll be using torque screwdriver and remove 
um, the screws that's holding the motherboard. I will be removing the fan as well. And this is where the cable is gonna come right out. There's one cable hidden right underneath here. Once you have the Wi-Fi cable um, moved to the back, and you can go right in there for this screw. Okay, so pretty much that's it. And now we can just remove the motherboard. And as you can see, corrosion starting to build okay So this is a used motherboard, um, I got it from eBay, I tested it out, it works okay, um, there's nothing wrong with it, so let's install and see if it works. So make sure you have the uh, cable, cables um, sticking out. So by the time when you move, when you sit the motherboard, uh, they would go right on top of it. Alright, the first thing I'll do is to lock the screw on the very corner here. We can come back later on and fix the rubber. And you have to kind of Tuck in the Wi-Fi cable underneath the motherboard. Yeah, it's just about like Lego, it snaps on. 
need to find the right position and just lock it in. Sorry, it's taking so long because I try not to get underneath the camera then you'll be seeing my head rather than the steps on how to doing it so I'm standing far behind to kind of get the, uh, the cable to go in okay so no, right now it's in that's good um, the next thing I'll do is to install um, the cable this is a touchpad cable it goes right in. I have the touchpad um, cable in. The next one is keyboard backlighting, followed by the speaker. And at this point here, I'm just going to start um, sc screw down the motherboard. Just a few screw, make sure that it powers on and it works before I put everything all back together. Okay, a quick recap. So we have the LCD screen goes in. The left speaker goes onto the motherboard. We are missing the battery, right? So we would have this battery here. Okay, I'm just gonna lock it down with one screw for now, right in the middle. Okay, we have the keyboard, we have touchpad, we are missing hard drive. We have the cable extension that connects the USB, power, fan, pretty much it and the Wi-Fi is all connected. So let's try to turn it on and see if it works. The 
Okay, looks like it's powering on and it's working. Great, and touchpad is working. And let's try to log in. Okay, everything looks good and I'll put the rest of the cable back all together and thanks for watching, till next time.